We are here today with several guests from Northwest, and you are? Angel Elliott. And? Frank Cleveland. All right, and uh, while they were in the building, I wanted to quickly get them in here to talk to you guys on television, because y'all are with what program with Northwest? Uh, we're with the ISC program with Northwest. Okay, for all of the students in the building, tell them what that is. <laughs> um, we have coding, networking, and cybersecurity, and that's basically it. Okay, now we recently did an interview with a cybersecurity firm, but tell us a little bit about the programming that y'all offer at Northwest for students who might be interested in cybersecurity specifically. Um, are we live? <laughs> you put me on the spot We're right now. Live. I don't. Okay, good. Um, you said the programming? No, just the, the program itself. Oh, you said programming. So I was like, wait, you said programming and then you said cybersecurity. <laughs> okay. Um, we teach, um, you know, ethical hacking and things like that um, and how you would implement, you know, security in a business world. You know, <laughs> it's uh, an up and coming thing. It's not something that is, um, you know, common like police forces and things like that. Whenever they have any type of cyber crime, you know, they don't have anybody that is like specific for that. So um, it's good to have, you know, somebody else that you can hire out that comes in and takes care of that for you because, you know, kind of like, um, I just blanked what I was going to say. I was just talking about this in class and I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a good talker. Um, man, I just was talking to my class about this on Friday, and I just blanked with what I was saying. I don't know. You can cut to him. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, there's other programming uh, or, or uh, programs that y'all offer as far as computer sciences go. Tell us some of the other options that y'all have at Northwest. Well, we have the coding, which is what I do, and that's where you're learning to do web design. You learn to do the programming for the computers. And then uh, my, we have a counterpart, Ben Hawks, that uh, does the networking side where he teaches you how to communicate and get all the computers to on the same LAN and communicate together. So, uh, Computers have been a big deal for the past two decades, really, but it's not going away. In fact, more and more things are moving <laughs> that direction so both networking and programming are huge uh, for the future and I'm assuming that students can get fantastic jobs and lots of job opportunities in both of those fields what are some of the things that you're seeing uh, some trends that are happening uh, around the globe that students can put some of these skills to use with well there's there's I mean as far as IT there's a plethora of jobs or opportunities that you can get into I mean you can do system maintenance I mean cybersecurity that offers the security side where you can get into the protecting of networks and stuff like that I mean automobile everything has a system in it that has to be dealt with so it you're just opening up a, a huge can of worms with that so I mean there's a ton of opportunities. All right, what are some of the um, salary ranges that you see students typically leaving college starting in those fields with? Most of the time we've got them starting in the low 40s, and, I mean, we've got one that's been out of college for over a year, and he's almost hitting six figures because he pushed it that hard. So, I mean, it, it really based off of how hard you get out there and push and, and run through, too. So, I mean, if you get out there and do what you need to do to show that you're good at it, you can make tons of money so all right students who might be watching both of you right now and saying that might be the program i'm interested in and i would be interested in going to northwest to do that is it the main campus the soto campus where do they start and uh what do they need to do in order to get in the programs at northwest um to start off you usually have to fill out your fafsa just to you know get the ball rolling and then after that um you just have to have um high school uh, transcripts um act scores you have to have at least i think it's a 16 or a 17 uh, for your reading score and that's it and um we have the networking and coding at the Cenotopia campus and then cybersecurity is at the DeSoto campus 
All right, so there you go, students. If you're interested uh, in talking more about uh, these programs, you can see uh, our career coach, obviously, or you can go to your counselor uh, at the counseling complex. And uh, I'm sure there'll be there will be definitely be some Northwest uh, representatives uh, throughout the year meeting with tables, and you can talk with them directly. And then I'm assuming that they can contact you guys if they if they're interested in doing that, and you can get to them through Miss Hennessy as well. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. All right, thank you.